Hey everyone, this is Anne. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm sharing with you all the beautiful books that we are using to study butterflies. This is the second video in a little nature series that we're doing this spring on the books that we're studying for nature, and that includes birds, bees, butterflies, and bugs. So the first video we did, which is on bugs, and I will link that below, and the next one we're going to do is on bees and birds. If that interests you, please make sure to hit like and subscribe and hit the little bell to be notified when I upload those videos. Before I take away this beautiful pile of books and show you them individually, I just wanted to show you this. If you haven't ordered any of these, they're by Safari, and this shows the four stages of the butterfly life cycle, and they're really cute. First book I'm gonna share with you is called The Butterfly House. Step inside to discover over 100 species of nature's most beautiful insects. This is written by Katie Flint and illustrated by Alice Petulo, and I love it. It doesn't necessarily give you any new information if you have a lot of resource books, but it presents it in a very gorgeous way. And sometimes I find that appeals to all of us and we learn some things we didn't learn before. Feeding station that reminds me of the butterfly museum I went to. See, absolutely stunning. Another beautiful butterfly book is A Butterfly is Patient, and this is by Diana Hutz Aston and Sylvia Long. And these are gorgeous. This is a series. Highly recommend checking out Diana Huston's other books. This is very poetic and lovely. So this is great for a cross range of ages, I find. And this is by Scholastic, and it's written by Cynthia Ryland. The Journey Stories of Migration, illustrated by Lambert Davies. Davis, sorry. And so this is a cross-section of animals. The focus really is on migration. It's a nice addition. Now, this is my favorite book. We had this out of the library two different times, so I decided to purchase our own. How to Raise Monarch Butterflies, Step-by-Step -step Guide for Kids, Carol Pasternak. And even if you didn't want to raise your own butterflies, it covers everything you'd want to know about monarch butterflies in a very easily accessible way for children. And very point form, it gives you everything you'd want to know. This is a gorgeous one by Firefly on butterflies. The photography in this is stunning. It gives you lots of information. To me, this is a really great one if you just want to... Another great resource book. I bought this because we do live on the East Coast and I was finding some of the nature books I was buying were too generic and we wanted something specific for where we live and this definitely fit the bill. And this is definitely a resource book. I wouldn't necessarily pick this up and read this from front to back, but if there was something specific we were interested in or we heard about a specific butterfly or wildflower or something that from another book, I would come to this to find it. This book I showed in another haul. Our daughter received it for Easter, Easy Peasy Gardening for Kids. I wanted to show it again though because I think it's absolutely perfect. And there is... See, for pollinator pots, which I think is an amazing idea. And to make an Airbnb. I wanted to mention that again because it's one of my favorites this spring. And if you haven't heard of these, I was so excited to find them. They're perfect to fit in your backpack if you're going on a nature study or if you're going hiking. And these are the pocket naturalist guides. We have quite a few of these. This one is on butterflies and pollinators. And it folds up. Yeah, we have them on trees and birds, foraging. Anyway, I want to note those because I was so happy when I discovered those. Okay, now this we have out of the library and I have to say of all the books that I've been looking at, this is the one that I would purchase. If I was going into it now knowing what I know, I would recommend this one. It's a National Geographic Birds, Bees and Butterflies, Bringing Nature into Your Yard and Garden and I love it because it covers, well, birds, bees, and butterflies, but it also tells you how to design your backyard as well 
as then gives you information on specific species. And that information includes the plants that they eat and what you could do to attract them to your own backyard. So the first part is really about designing spaces and then it gets into the specifics. Definitely my favorite. I did mention this book in the previous video that we did on bugs, but I want to mention it again. These are the Fun With Nature Take Along Guides and this is one that includes six different books. So it's a compilation, you can buy them all separately. But this one does have a section on butterflies and moths. And there's the monarch butterfly again, different butterflies. Mm -hmm. I love these books, these take along guides. They're colorful enough that it keeps you interested and it doesn't give too much information. It seems like it's just enough. The other book that I mentioned in the previous bug video was also this Nature Anatomy, and this is by Julia Rothman, but there's a really great section in here on butterflies as well. So that's the anatomy of the bee, anatomy of a butterfly, metamorphosis, monarch migration. So again, this one is really quite gorgeous. Those are the resources I'm going to share with you on butterflies. If you like this video, please be sure to hit like. And if you would like to see our next upcoming video on bees and birds, please be sure to hit subscribe and hit the little bell to be notified when that video is uploaded. All right, I'll see you soon with another bookish video.